Okay guys, uh, what I wanted to talk about today was um, I got this Homelite XL sitting here. Um, bearings are obviously shot. Seals are probably leaking. Uh, probably going to run a little lean if it was back together running. Um, and talk about what people do to the bar and chains on these. Uh, so, a lot of people, they... Um, and they, they put their bar and chain on, and then once they tension the chain up, they go as hard as they could on the chain tensioner, because obviously their saw is probably running, the idle is probably set a little high, and they don't want their chain to spin. So they tighten it up so that the chain don't spin. Uh, what happens when they do that is, here's a bad bearing for instance. Uh, that bearing, say that this was the clutch side, that bearing's wearing on that side only. What else is wearing out is that seal, and it's wearing out on that end too. Oh, well, when you have that, and you get somebody, uh, like say the guy sells a saw, and the guy sets it up correctly and adjusts the chain right, well now he has an air leak. There's an air leak in the seal. And obviously, his bearing is going to be loose, too. His bearings are going to be shot. Uh, and most of the time, they're shot on the P uh, PTO side of the saw, which will create an, uh, an air leak and also make the saw run lean, which entails can blow the saw up uh, because now you're, you're making the saw run hot, scoring the piston, and now it needs a new jug and cylinder. Or jug and piston. Um, so that is one of the uh, one of the reasons why uh, saws aren't running right, or they sometimes they don't run at all because they're running too lean, and it's not getting you know you know all that uh, kind of happy BS. But uh, I actually want to set up a. Uh, a scenario on how to adjust your chain because I get a lot of these saws in that uh, most of the time the main bearings are shot because of that that problem I'm gonna bring the big boy in That's my 660. I'm going to loosen this chain up on purpose. leave it at that so sometimes I see people running their chain like this cutting wood it ain't gonna cut number one the, the cutters are actually rocking back and forth they're not wanting to cut they cut better when the chains adjusted properly but when people tighten these chains up they like to crank on this super freaking hard and that's what happens. That's what actually what happened to this saw. Uh, I just had I just replaced the mains in this thing. Uh, Fifteen dollars at the local saw shop. Uh, they're not steel bearings uh, and seals. I bought seals too. Um, but they're uh, you know they were decent bearings. Uh, still uses um, SKF bearing Chicago rawhide, uh, and probably the same for the uh, seals. Uh, being the Chicago rawhide makes the seals too, but uh, I I chose an aftermarket brand just to see how long those last. Uh, hopefully they'll last a good bit. 
But the way you adjust these chains, I already have the chain on there, chain's loose. So what I want to do is I lift up the bar. It's just a habit. And I bring that chain up. Just till it comes in contact with the bar. See, it's still a little bit loose. I go just a little bit more. That's probably good right there. You want to be able to pull that chain up and count... I count at least one, two, three, four, five, at least five bottom, bottom of the, uh, the links. And actually, that could be a little bit looser. See, a chain cuts properly when it's in the bar groove because it ain't rocking back and forth it's these are what the chain rides on the cutters ride on right there and then I keep the bar up obviously out in the field I'd be using a scrunch but and these don't have to be very tight at all either a lot of people wrench these down. They might as well just buy it, get an impact gun on them. And that's you just snug them up. That's all. They don't need to be very tight. Just like that. Now, if your saw is running, uh, running the idle set up too high, and then maybe you ought to uh, set your carburetor up. Uh, I usually, as soon as I get these rebuilt. Uh, I usually set them at the stock setting and I that's that's actually kind of a good starting point and then I actually find adjust from there uh, but the way these saws are supposed to run they're supposed to four stroke into a cut and then run you know run cut through the wood from there uh, it's usually like just a not not too rich but not too lean perfect it's right into a cut right at the beginning part of the cut it's supposed to four stroke a little bit but if you don't hear that four stroke you're running too lean if you're four stroking the whole way through the cut you're too rich but uh over tensioning the chain is the main cause of the bearing failures in these saws and uh a lot of people don't know you know they they, they pick up a saw and uh sometimes the loggers are uh guilty of this they'll they want the saw to run they want it to cut they don't care about the condition of the saw uh some most of the time the saw is not actually their saw uh i own every one of my saws um and you know like it, this is a 1200 hundred dollar saw this is a steel ms660 uh for granted they don't make this saw anymore they make the 661 uh Still a good saw. This is a legit still. It's not a Holz Forma. It's a it's a legit uh, OE still. And that was that was the condition of this saw. And I can guarantee you what happened to this saw was uh, they over tensioned the the bar bar and chain, which in turn uh, the bearings failed, the seals failed, and when uh, and I got this saw the, the cylinder was scored heavily. And actually, I have the cylinder here. And the cylinder's kind of repairable. I could probably repair the cylinder. There's the piston. Heavy scoring. This is the exhaust side. Uh, over tensioning the bar nuts, or the bar, uh, bar and chain can cause this. That's making the saw run too lean, too hot. When you run, when you make, when the saw runs too lean, makes it run hot. Cylinder contracts because aluminum, uh, the alloy of that cylinder does some weird stuff. 
uh, the neck is sealing all that. When the cylinder contracts, uh, we'll actually tighten up on the piston and it makes the saw run ha harder, for one thing. And sometimes the rings will stick too. And why the rings stick is because the, you're actually smearing that that piston, the aluminum of the piston, up against the ring. That's why they stick. So all of that just for over tensioning the bar and chain. Uh, and that's one of the, that's one of the main reasons why these saws fail because of that. Uh, I happen to be playing with these things since I was about, I don't know, eight, ten years old, and I've I've pretty much been at it ever since. I've always been a chain collector, chainsaw collector. Uh, starting to get into a little bit of collecting of you know forestry stuff, but uh, you know these these are the big money items right here, and you have to take care of them. Have to got to take care of them but that's what you want for uh that's what you want for a um chain tension right there uh you follow my youtube channel uh t doc 674 um I, i'm actually i have one one actual video i do uh i had a tool uh toolbox tour on there i'm actually Want to get into more of this stuff right here, chainsaws. Just because I've been in it for a long time, know a whole lot about it. Uh, I know of all of the models throughout the brands. Uh, if, if you want to follow, there's going to be some more of this content in there. Uh, subscribe if you like this stuff. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, hopefully you guys have a good day. And that is it. See ya.